Ben Affleck tracked it at number two. 13 years after co-starring with his ex J-Lo and Gigli, Ben reveals why he thinks it was doomed from the start. It's turkey time. Huh? Gobble, gobble. It would have been just a bad movie, but a bad movie without any, like, no one would have cared about it. You know what I mean? Like Angelina Jolie had a bad movie that year that came out. Nobody cared. But because I was dating Jennifer Lopez, that made it a big deal. It was like, not only is it a bad movie, they're dating each other in the bad movie. <laughs> ben on the New York Times online Q&A show Times Talks discussing 2003's Gigli, one of the most expensive box office bombs in history. All right, All right. Which grossed only 7.2 million against a $75.6 million budget. <laughs> but the film had pedigree. Gigli was directed by Martin Brest, who made the highly regarded Midnight Run, Beverly Hills Cop, and Scent of a Woman, which won Al Pacino a Best Actor Oscar. Hoo yeah! Just goes to show you how filmmaking is, is, is a lot of it about luck and stuff that you don't control. And the one thing that was out of control? The phenomenon that was the first modern super couple known as Benifer. He's the sexiest man alive. Benifer and the Gigli fiasco nearly derailed Ben's career, and after two years of dating, the couple called off their engagement in 2004. I literally remember there was a reporter doing like a stand-up, you know, I mean, with his camera. Here I am outside of Gigli. As you can see, no one in line for the movie tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is this, hurricane coverage? That's professional. <laughs>